Indians reliever Dan Otero on a rehab assignment at Single A Mahoning Valley, slated to throw 15 pitches. A rough start facing his first batter, Greg Jones drills one to the gap in right center for a leadoff double. But shortly thereafter, Otero settled in. He induces this harmless grounder to the third baseman for his first out of the night, with that runner still stranded at second base. Otero polished off his outing with this swinging strikeout. Otero tossed 14 pitches with 11 for strikes in two-thirds of a scoreless inning. He's likely slated to head to Akron coming up on Thursday. No, it felt good. You know, I was a little upset that I wasn't able to get through the inning, but, you know, foul balls happened, and I was, a, I was told I couldn't go over a certain number of pitches today. It'd be my first time out, but, you know, we were able to get out of the inning and put up a zero as a team, and that was good, and uh, hopefully we can continue, uh, we can continue putting up zeros tonight. What's the next step now? Uh, I'm going to go back to progressive field the next couple days, do continue my rehab and throwing programs. And then on Thursday, um, I should be in Akron if, all, everything check out, if everything checks out okay the next couple of days. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's no secret what we're trying to do. We're trying to catch the Twins. You know, I think they have the best record in the AL, so they're going to be a tough team to catch. You know, unfortunately, we dropped uh, two or three to them out of the break. But our confidence level is high. It's been high ever since the start of the season. You know, we face some adversity, whether it be injuries or you know, medical stuff outside of baseball. But, you know, we're pulling together as a team and we're tightening a group and, you know, we're looking forward to trying to catch them and, you know, write a, write a good ending for us in this 2019 season. It, it's always fun seeing guys make their debuts in the big leagues. And then at the same time, it's really fun to come down here and see guys, for lack of better terms, grind it out at the lower levels because it is a game and it's fun. And, you know, seeing their excitement levels when they get to go out there and play, and, you know, it, it's, it's amazing. And I try to cherish it as much as I can. I'm a little on the older side, but I'm still trying to play this game as long as I can because it's a kid's game.